click the bell icon to get latest videos from Equida. Hello friends, this is a video from the chapter image compression. So it is very fundamental step into the digital image processing. And after learning image enhancement, image restoration, the color image processing, we have this particular chapter. Also, we are covered with the wavelets and multi-resolution processing. So as we are completed with what exactly the redundancies are there into the images, the image compression model, we have the source encoder and that of the decoder. So for encoder, we are covered with the Huffman type of coding, the arithmetic coding, the run length coding. We have another type of coding here that is called as a bit plane coding. Let us see the details. So here we can begin with the topic bit plane coding. One of the effective techniques for reduction of an image interpixel redundancies is to process the image bit plane individually. While having the understanding of the image enhancement, we have one approach that is bit plane slicing also that also depends with respect to the bits here. So here we have the bit plane coding. The technique is called bit plane coding and this is based on the concept of we can show the decomposition of a multi-level image into a series of binary images and the compression each binary image via one of the several well-known binary compression methods. So let us see first of all decomposition and then we shall address the compression. The gray levels of m-bit grayscale image can be represented in the form of a base 2 polynomial. The polynomial can be given as a to the suffix here we have m minus 1 in multiplication with 2 to the power m minus 1 added with a to the suffix m minus 2 in product with 2 to the power m minus 2. So this way the summation goes on up to a1 into 2 to the power 1 plus a0 into 2 to the power 0 here. Based on this property, a simple method of decomposing the image into a collection of binary images is to separate the m coefficients of the polynomial into m 1 bit bit planes. The zeroth order bit plane is generated by collecting the a0 bits of each pixel while the m minus 1 first order that is bit plane contains the a suffix m minus 1 bits or coefficients. So see generally while having the practical demonstrations with the images we have represented the images into the 8 bit environment. So with respect to that we can have the designations like A0, A1, A2 up to A7 also. In general, each bit plane is numbered from 0 to M minus 1 and is constructed by setting its pixels equal to the values of the appropriate bits or polynomial coefficients from each pixel in the original image. The inherent disadvantage we are having with the approach that we have discussed that the small changes into the gray level can have a significant impact on the complexity of the bit planes. If the pixel of intensity 127, so this is denoted as 0, 111, is adjacent to the pixel of intensity 128 that is denoted as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So for instance, Every bit plane will contain a corresponding 1 to 0 or we have 0 to 1 transition. So for example, as the most significant bits of the two binary cores for 127 and 128 are different, bit planes that is 7 will contain a 0 value pixel next to the pixel of value 1, creating a 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 transition at that point. An alternative decomposition approach which reduces the effect of the small gray level variations is to first represent the image by m bit gray code. The m bit gray code that is denoted as g to the suffix m minus 1, this way if you go g2, g1, g0 that corresponds to the polynomial that we have shown can be computed from here we have g suffix i is equal to the operands are a1 and a to the suffix i plus 1. g suffix m minus 1 is equal to a suffix m minus 1. The i ranges between 0 to m minus 2 here. So this symbol actually denotes the exclusive or operation as in the case of Huffman coding also we have discussed. 
this code has the unique property that the successive code words differ in only one bit position thus the small changes into the gray level are less likely to affect all m bit planes for instance when gray level 127 and 128 are adjacent only the seventh bit plane will contain 0 to 1 transition because the gray codes that correspond to 127 and 128 are 11000000 and for 128 we have 01000000 respectively let us take the example images we show in the resolution 1024 by 1024 so here we have the two images figure a and figure b we name them so let us see the left hand fig uh, side figure is figure a the right hand side figure is figure b here so this particular slide shows you the two most significant bits that is binary in the left column we shall visualize and in the gray code we shall visualize on to the right hand side that are the bit planes of the images so let us visualize the bit 7 and bit 6 so see here these the two that forms the left hand side column are representing the binary and these two are representing the gray coded bit planes that just now we have discussed about so this is the name for a bit 7 and this is for bit 6 so bit 7 binary bit 7 gray coded the bit 6 binary bit 6 here we have gray coded image for the input image so input first image we have taken in this example the next two significant binary and that of the gray coded bit planes of the images so as we have visualized b7 and bit 6 also so they will be bit 5 and bit 4 here so let us see this is bit 5 bit 4 so these two images are with respect to the binary bits and these two images are for bit 5 and bit 4 by the gray coding bit planes of the images here next the two less significant binary and gray coded bit planes of the images can be visualized here so these are the bit 3 and bit 2 for binary case and for the gray coded case here we have bit 3 and bit 2 so here the comparison you can make with that of the binary and that of the gray coded bit planes here the last and the next two least significant bit planes of the binary and gray coded types can also be shown here so this is bit 1 for binary case bit 0 for the binary case this is bit 1 of the gray coded case bit 0 of the gray coded case so the higher order bit planes are far less complex than their lower order counterparts in the higher order bit planes we can actually identify from which original image this bit bit plane has been taken so that is these particular bit planes contain the large uniform areas of the significantly less details busyness or randomness in addition the gray coded bit planes are less complex than the corresponding binary bit planes now as we are covered with the decomposition part to show you the bit plane coding let us talk about the constant area coding a simple but effective method of compressing a binary image or a bit plane is to use special code words to identify large areas of contiguous ones or zeros in one such approach called the constant area coding we can abbreviate it as cac the image is divided into blocks of size p by q pixels which are classified as all white all black or mixed intensity the most probable or frequency occurring category is then assigned the one bit code word 0 and the other two categories are assigned two bit codes 10 and 11 in this case compression is achieved because the pq bits that normally would be used to represent each constant area are now replaced by one bit or two bit code words of course the code assigned to the mixed intensity category is used as a prefix which is followed by the pq bit pattern of the block when predominantly white text documents are being compressed a slightly simpler approach is to code the solid white areas as zeros and all other blocks as 1 followed by the bit pattern of the block here 
So see here, up till now while working with the binary images as we designated them by zeros and one, we used to have zeros for representation of black and we used to have one for representation of the whiteness into the binary image or into the uh, having the gray scale into the uh, two bit pattern you can say here, two bit environment you can say here. But now for the coding purpose with respect to the images in this particular chapter, this designation zero for black and one for white. So this is not constant here. So the, this will be definitely having modification with the concern context here. So here the approach that we have discussed is called as white block skipping. So abbreviation can be WBS that takes advantage of the anticipated structural tendencies of the image to be compressed. As few solid black areas are expected, they are grouped with a mixed intensity regions allowing the one bit code word to be used for highly probable white blocks. A particularly effective modification of this procedure with the block size of 1 by Q here is to code the solid white lines as zeros and all other lines with the 1 followed by the normal WBS code sequence. Another is to employ an iterative approach in which the binary image or bit plane is decomposed into the successively smaller and smaller sub-blocks. For 2D blocks, a solid white image is coded as 0 and all other images are divided into sub-blocks that are assigned a prefix of 1 and similarly we have. That is, if a sub-block is all white, it is represented by the prefix 1, indicating that it is a first iteration sub-block followed by 0, indicating that it is a solid white. If the sub-block is not solid white, the decomposition process is repeated until the predefined sub-block size is reached and coded as either a 0 if it is all white or a 1 followed by the block bit pattern. So I suppose the understanding of the bit plane coding to understand the source type of encoder in the image compression is clear to you people. By the next lecture we shall see the another topic to understand the image compression model that is a block transform coding here. So if you like the videos relating to the theoretical concepts, the practical sessions and that of the practice of miscellaneous problems with respect to the subject digital image processing, you can subscribe to channel for more information. Thank you.